Hi everybody. Welcome to the Craft Shed. I'm Tammy. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I uh, hope everybody had a great Christmas. We had a pretty good one. We had a lot of people here. Thing is though, about a day after my last video was posted, I fell down my back stairs going out of my house and I fractured my tailbone. So, trying to do Christmas was a little tough. It was really tough. I still managed to get everything done. Got everything cooked. We had a nice day. Then we took my sister back home and we went up to our place in Mountain Rest and we figured we was just gonna stay there for a week and rest and do pretty much nothing. And rest my tailbone. <laughs> I keep running around saying I broke my butt. But we went up there, but they have tons of thrift stores there. And even though where we live here, they have a lot of Goodwills and Salvation Armies, but they're really expensive. I think we have about seven or eight Goodwills, but they're pretty expensive because they know they're catering to tourists. And we have a lot of eBay dealers here. So stuff's pretty expensive. But up there in Mountain Rest and all around that county, there are lots of little small church-run thrift stores and for uh, different charities. And they, they have really good prices. So we went up there and I hit a lot of thrift stores and I have got a huge haul. I have got so many books because I, they were all having sales. <laughs> so, you know, I gotta have my books. But I'll start with, let's see, I don't even know where to start. I'll start with, I'm gonna start with some books that my sister gave me for Christmas. That she, where she lives in Charlotte, the library, one of the libraries there puts books out all the time and they're like 50 cents or a dollar or something. So she got me several books. She got me this one, Quilts in the Attic. That looks pretty interesting. It's the stories behind quilts and stuff about the quilt makers and things so that looked pretty interesting and she got me this for my gardening the handy nutrition answer book everything you want to know about nutrition and vegetables and stuff like that so she got that it looks pretty interesting and she knows I have to have gluten free she, she found this, a, a, I don't know if you say quinoa or how you say it, cookbook. So, and I didn't know what to do with that stuff, so I'll have to try some of these. And she, oh, she got me this one for my garden, which when I lived in Fancy Gap, I didn't have much trouble with my garden. Stuff grew like mad. Down here, I had nothing but trouble. I almost gave up. So hopefully I things will be better up in the mountains, but... She gave me this one. What's wrong with my vegetable garden? <laughs> so, it's got all the different plants, the problems, what to do about it, everything. So, hopefully that'll come in handy. And she knew I was looking for this book, and she couldn't find it anywhere used, so she found it at the bookstore. So she did buy this one brand new for me. Foxfire 11, because she knows I have the Foxfire books and she knows I love Foxfire books and I have the original set from the 70s I have you know the first one through about number nine and that's all I had and we're still looking for 10 11 and 12 I have the Foxfire book of Appalachian cookery but all the other books they have besides these because I mean they had a bunch like their 45th anniversary and a bunch of those I don't have those yet I'm still looking for them so she got me number 11, so I was real tickled with this one. And I think that's all the books she gave me for Christmas. She also gave me a subscription to Mother Earth News and Countryside Magazine, because she knows I love them. And let's see. And she gave me some other stuff, but like a pair of earrings and stuff. But when we went up to the mountains, I think the first place I hit was a little thrift store. It's kind of way out in the country, and it's for school. Well, I got in there, and they have tons of books. 
And I went over and said, hey, how much was the books if I didn't have a sticker on them? Some had stickers and some didn't. And they said, well, if it has a sticker on it, it's the price on the sticker. If it's a white sticker, it's half that price. If there's no sticker on it, it's 50 cents. Or you can get a tote bag and fill a whole tote bag full of books for $2.75. So that's what I did. And they had all different sizes of tote bags. And, I mean, they had some that were just little bitty tote bags. I thought, why would you do that? Because then you're not getting nowhere. But I got a big tote bag. <laughs> so, here's, this is all I got for $2.75. I'll start with this one. It's the Fanny Farmer Cookbook. This is a, one of those mass market ones from, I think, the 90s version of it. It didn't have the cover, but for, I, it didn't take up much room in the tote bag, so... I got that, because I love the old Fanny Farmer books. And I found this set. It was down under a stack of other books. And I uncovered, I pulled off the other books, because I thought, what's all that in the bottom? And I saw this set. So of course it went in my tote bag. A Women's Day Encyclopedia of Cookery. Oh, you can't see it, there it is. I once again came back and forgot my tripod, so. I'm having to stack up on books again. And I thought these were really cool. It wasn't the complete set, but I love old cookbooks. So I've got volume seven, volume one, volume two, volume 11, volume nine, <laughs> volume four, Volume 8 and 3. So I have, or I, I did have them in order. I don't know what happened. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I didn't find 5 and 6. I found somewhere to set these out of the way. Uh, 7 and 8. 9 and 11, so I'm missing a few. And maybe I'll find them sometime so I can get the whole set. But I thought those were pretty cool. And I found the Williamsburg Cookbook, another old one. This, this store had tons of, tons of old books. And I like this one. This one's pretty cool too. So I got it. Six ingredients or less slow cooker recipes and I like I like ones like that don't take a lot of ingredients because it seems like it never fails if there's a lot of ingredients I don't have everything so I got that uh, the longer burger fresh from the pantry recipes for everyday cookbook and that this was a very pretty cookbook I mean it's just got really pretty pictures and it's got pictures of some of their baskets and all in it so, and organizing using their baskets. It's just, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty cookbook. So, that's why I got it. And then I got this one. Autumn Accents, Thimble Berries. I just thought this book had some pretty pictures for decorating and stuff for fall. And I love fall. So, I, I put it in my bag. My bag was stuffed. It was all the way to the top. And one book was sticking a little over the top, but they said that didn't matter. That was okay. As long as they weren't falling out of the bag. Best of the best Cook's Essentials cookbook. I, ha I have never heard of this cookbook, but some of the stuff in it looks pretty good. So I got it. Some of it I will probably never make, like zucchini gondolas. I hate zucchini. That reminds me, one year when we lived in Fancy Gap, I bought me, I went to Lowe's and I bought me a pack of um, the, one, the crook neck squash because my family loves that and I can grow it like mad. And I planted it and it came up and it was big, pretty, healthy plants, really good, it produced like mad. Only thing was, it was zucchini. It had been mislabeled. And we hate zucchini. <laughs> so I had zucchini coming out of my ears and I couldn't find anybody to take any of it. Fortunately, I had a bunch of geese and they loved it. But it grew like crazy. But that year I had no squash to put up. 
I found the 1997 annual recipes to go in my Southern Living set because I was missing 97. I think I'm missing 87. And anything after 2010, I'm missing. So I found the 97 and got it so cheap. Found this one, fresh herbs, over 100 uses for growing, cooking, cosmetics, and garden design. Just of different herbs. And I do want to have a big herb garden when we get back, when we get up there. You know, huge. And every different thing. And it's got some recipes for some of them. So I got that one. And the last one I got stuffed in this big tote bag was, if I can get it out of it, Southern Living Annual Recipes Cookbook, the 20th Anniversary Edition. So I got that to go with my set. So that, oh, that's not the last one. I got this one too. Reader's Digest Complete Book of the Garden. I love old gardening books. Back before they told you to put, you know, Roundup on everything. So I got that. So, for two seventy five, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 books for $2.75. That was a pretty good deal. I like that store. My, my husband says I can't go to it very often because until he has time to build me a library. Okay, what else did they have in that store? They had some other stuff too. I think this is it. I got these. Because their Christmas stuff was 50% off. This had been a dollar, so it was 50 cents. I thought it was really cute. He's missing a halo. But I figure I'll either take this one's halo off and fill in the holes, or I'll make, make a halo for this one. It's a, a Starlight Angels candle holder. Had originally been $14.99 somewhere. But I mean, they, they, they're cute. So I got that. I got this. Willie Ray piece. Willie Ray Studio. It had been $5, so I got it for $2.50. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it or I'm going to list it on eBay. I'm not sure. Probably wind up listing it because I just, I don't really need any more doodads, but I really do like her. But then I found some more stuff, so. So she may go on eBay. I got these. This one. Treasure, no. Pressure Cookery Perfected, an old pressure cooker book. And again, I just like old cookbooks. This one was actually a dollar. And I got this one. Epic to Tomatoes. Everything you want to know about growing tomatoes. It tells every kind of tomato there is. And everything about growing them. Everything you want to know. About heirlooms, everything. So, I, I sat down first night and looking at this book, and I really liked this one. And it was a dollar. I got Natural Health, Natural Medicine from Andrew Weil. It says a dollar, but white stickers were 50% off, so it was 50 cents. So, and I love herb books and natural stuff like that. And I got the 2008 Annual Recipe Book. And it was a white sticker, so it was 50 cents. Because I think I was missing 2008, too. So I got it. And I got the 2011 for 50 cents. So, that's everything from that store. So I got all those books, those, two those other two pieces, all for under $10. So... I think it came out to like eight dollars altogether, eight something, and they didn't include any tax. So that was I had a field day in there. So my husband says I can't go there too often. <laughs> so because they have too many books. So I went there, and where else did we go? Let's see. Oh, then we went to Dollar General, and they had some Christmas stuff for fifty percent off, and I got. I got a set of these towels. I left the other one up in the camper for it. Just, you know, a little red truck one. And what else did I get in there? 
That was the only Christmas thing I got. They had um, they had their Valentine's stuff out. I don't decorate for Valentine's Day, really. So, but they had this. They had one already done in metal, but it was pink, and it was strictly Valentine's. So I got this one. I'm not going to paint it like Valentine's. I'm going to paint it more farmhouse looking. And probably write something like, bless our farmhouse, or something like that on it. So they can leave it out all year. It was $2. And I think that's all I got there. Other than, you know, groceries. Some grocery stuff. Then we went back. We had to go. We was running in there constantly. And then we went back. And, you know, every time you go in Dollar General, they give you those coupons that says, for the next Saturday, if you spend $25, you get $5 off. Well, I'd been after my husband to do this. And, um stock up on some food or something like that. Well, all of a sudden, he's looking in there, and he says, you know, their vegetables are pretty cheap, and he had tried them, and he liked them, like their canned corn and their canned green beans and stuff like that, And uh, which we don't really need green beans because I grow green beans. I got a ton canned, but he loves French cut, and mine are regular. And pick up peas, beans, all that kind of stuff. And he said, you know, you should stock up on some of these with, on that, with that $5 off coupon. I'm like... <laughs> Really? I've been telling you this for a long time. <laughs> so we decided we were going to do that on Saturday. We were going to go and we was going to get some stuff. Well, by the time Saturday came, we had three $5 off coupons. So I told him what we should do is break it up into five, three different sets. Or go to three different ones or something. Well, he didn't want to do that. And I've been telling him all the whole time. I kept saying, what you do with these so you come out the best is you stick as close to $25 as possible because that's when you're going to get your best discount. Well, of course, he didn't pay me the slightest bit of attention. So we went in, and we were putting stuff in the buggy, and I said, now keep track. Keep it running totally in your head. I was going to put it on my phone, but my, you know, on my calculator, but my phone died. I said, keep it running track so we know when we're close to $25. Because if you go over $25, then you're going to start not being, getting as good of a deal. Well, he didn't pay me any attention. I told him, I said, I got three coupons. We could break it up into three separate purchases if we ha have to. Didn't pay me no attention. Kept putting stuff in the buggy. Well, we get up there, and it was like 40-something dollars. And I had said right before we checked out, I said, we got enough that we should break it up into two things and pay with two different ones so we get $10 off instead of the five. Well, he wouldn't do that. Then he gets back to the camper, and he's like, well, we didn't get that good a deal. We only got $5 off. I said, I tried to tell you, break it into two. <laughs> and he said, well, that's what we, we should have did that. I tried to tell you. He never listens. And he says, well, it was my first time. I learned. I said, you wouldn't have had to learn if you'd have just listened to me. Why do men never listen? Anyway, went to Tractor Supply, and I got this for, I think it was $4. It was marked down. Chicken crossing sign. I'll probably save that and put up in my place in Mountain Rest. And let's see, where else did we go? Well, there's a place up there that's what called an, it's an import place. They got all kinds of stuff, but I got this there. It's soap holder to go on the wall. It looks like an old-timey metal one. I think it was like $3, something like that. They have stuff so cheap, 3 or $4. So I got that. Went to another thrift store that was very expensive on their stuff. They were one that was um, called themselves a unique thrift store. And their stuff was high. But the whole back warehouse was 50% off. And that's where I found some books, of course. So I got this. It's an old Martha Stewart quick cook cookbook. It was a dollar. I found another Fanny Farmer book. Tickled me to death. This one's actually from the 70s, I think. Fanny Farmer. It was 50 cents. Fanny Farmer cookbook. Um, it's from 1965. So, older than I thought. So, I love these old Fanny Farmer books. I haven't really figured out their whole deal, but I love them. Um, the Seneca Church of God. Jubilee 50th Anniversary Cookbook. It was 50 cents. I love church cookbooks. I'm a sucker for them. 
I've been trying to make myself put them back. I think some of the thrift stores have figured out women are suckers for these because they are getting to where they raise these up over the regular book price. It's ridiculous. And I found a Joyce Meyer book, Seven Things That Steal Your Joy. For It was 50 cents. That's what I got in that one because they were high. They didn't have a lot of I went to another thrift store and they also were having a sale on their books. Their books were half price. And they were cheap books anyway. So, I got this stack of books. Positive Energy, Judith Orloff. 50 cents. Joel Furman, Super Immunity. 50 cents. More Ultimate Healing, Bottom Line Publications. You know, about eating food and herbs to keep you healthy. 25 cents. Beyond wealth, I thought it was about money, but it's, it's actually about wealth, you know, being rich in every way in your life. And, you know, positive thinking and stuff like that. It was 50 cents. Old time vinegar, garlic, baking soda, and more problem solvers. That's pretty cool. 50 cents. Eat and heal. 50 cents. Food and healing. 25 cents. I got that. No, I'm lying. This store, everything was 50% off. They were doing a big sale. Everything was 50% off. And this was supposed to have been a dollar. I mean, 50 cents. But she rang it up for a dollar. But my husband said, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just leave it at a dollar. Because it was going for charity. So he didn't care. So I got those. And that one was Campbell's Simple Delicious Meals or something. And hey, what else did I get in that store? Let's see. I got this. I got these things in there. I got these are those things that you put like um, tortillas in and you bake them and it makes them into a bowl. And uh, I never needed the whole big set for just the two of us. Well, these were 50 cent a piece anyway, so they were a quarter a piece because they were 50% off because everything in there was half off for two days. So I got those. I got this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but. Get that bag out of here. Um, it's um, candles. It's a blocks that have a candle holder in them. I'll probably put the battery operated one in them. And it said love, but I'm going to repaint them. I'm going to repaint them and either put like home or farm or something like that on them. Make them more farmhouse looking. And it was, right here somewhere, it was originally. Four dollars for the set, so I got the set for two dollars. I'm running out of room. I'm not in my building again. I'm still on my kitchen table because I'm at home because I still got a broke tailbone. And I think that's all I got in that thrift store. That one was another charity one, so everything was 50% off. That was actually from two different ones. I think the books came from one. No, this book. Two or three of the books came from one of them, and the others came from the other one. Because in the second one, I got this, this, and some books, all for under $5. Okay. I also got this in the, um, the import store where I got the soap dish. I got this. These, they were 50% off. They were like a dollar and something. Just a little. Let's see. Let's see if you can see them. There's that one. And of course, they're all red truck. They hang. I'll probably do something to them before next Christmas. Hopefully, if I get time. I may, they may be after next Christmas before I get a chance to do anything. I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to decorate next Christmas or not because I don't know where I'll be. What I'll be living in. But I have it. And it was 50% off. Okay, now, went in another thrift store. They had their books very cheap. I have never bought this many books anywhere at any time. This one, um, Surnames of Ireland. It was 25 cents. And I'm doing working on my genealogy for me and my, me and my husband. And we both have a lot of people from um, Ireland. I got a Native American, Irish, English, and then German. 
He's got a lot of English and all too, and I some Irish. So, and I already found some of my family names in there. So, I, that was pretty cool. I got Deepak Chopra, The Return of Merlin, for twenty five cents. Your body can heal itself. Eighty seven foods everyone should eat. That was fifty cents. Rodell's Successful Organic Gardening Herbs. Another herb book about growing them. Yeah, I have plenty of them about, you know, making your tinctures and what their uses are and all. But I don't have many about actually growing them. So, that's what this one is. It was 25 cents. The Wellness Encyclopedia of Food and Nutrition. It was 50 cents. And look at the size of this book. I mean, it's got a lot in it for 50 cents. So, let's see. Anything else to see? And then I went, we went to Walmart, and I got some more of these, because they were 50% off, just to use. And I got some more, so I got these at Big Lot, because they had everything 50% off too. And, um, because I was looking for some curtains for my camper, but I couldn't find any of them. But I found these, and I thought I could take this part off, so they're not so Christmassy looking. And just use them on anything. So I got two packs of those. I think they were like, I don't know, they were like 70% off, something like that. Let me see the receipt. Where's the receipt? Big lots. Let's see. They were I don't know. I can't figure out this receipt. I think they were about 60% off, something like that. So that's what I got there in that Walmart. That's all other than, you know, some food. Oh, it's a mascara. I got some mascara in Walmart. And sinus medicine. Then I went in plain old Goodwill. Oh, I got this one here, too, at one of these stores. I don't remember which one. I can't remember which one I got it in. But it was either a quarter or something like that in it. Feeding the Flock, Parkwood Baptist Church. So, me and my church cookbooks. Then I went in Goodwill. And got some books there. And so a lot of their books was 50% off that I found. The Detox Prescription. Got that. I got this one was 50% off. The Good Housekeeping Party Book. Just because it's old. I love these old books. And it was 50% off. I think their books are $1.50 or something up there. So it would have been about 75 cents. It was another one. I spent under $10 when I got a whole box full of books and some other stuff. And I got the St. John Newman Catholic School Cookbook. It was not 50% off. Top Secret Recipes for, by that Todd Wilbur. Light. I like his books. I really love those Top Secret Recipe books. Foods That Fight Pain by Neil Bernard. Got it. And if you haven't noticed, I love herb books. I love uh, eating healthy and herbal remedy type books. I have lots of those. And I got lucky because somebody must have threw away a whole bunch of gluten books. Gluten-Free Bible. So I got that. Um, celiac disease, a hidden epidemic. I think this one was 50% off. While I don't have full-blown celiac disease, I do have a lot of the same issues, just not as bad. Because I just, I don't know if I'm just sensitive or I have a full-blown allergy, but I'm not celiac. But that's still going to come in handy. And... What else did I find about that? Oh, Wheat Free, Worry Free by Dana Korn. Tells you about eating without wheat and some substitutions and stuff you can make. And there was another one. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Lose the wheat, lose the weight. Don't know about losing the weight, but I got to lose the wheat anyway, so might as well look, read it. And let's see, the worry-free one was also 50% off. The gluten-free Bible was 50% off. 
Uh, that last one wasn't. This one was 50% off. Make it easy in your kitchen. Thought that just looked cool. And it's an old book. Flavored vinegars. Just all kind of stuff in it. So I got that one. Lasagna gardening was 50% off. What's weird is they had it in hardback. And they also had it at the same time in a paperback. Hardback one was 50% off. The paperback wasn't. So the paperback one cost more than the hardback. So I got that. I love gardening books. This one is Healing is a Choice. Just looked interesting. So I got that one. I don't remember if it's 50% off or not. Um, Cure for the Common Life. Got that one. Looked interesting. Put some of these back in the box. I mean, really, I've had, I have never had so many books before anywhere. I found the Balkans. This one was 50% off, too, I think. But th somebody had put this whole Life World Library was there, but I only wanted this one because I am part, doing my genealogy, I found out I am in part Balkan. I think it's on my daddy's side. I'm not sure which side it comes from yet because I haven't figured out who it is that it comes from. But, um, so I wanted to read about them because I know nothing about the Balkans. And I think it said I'm 16% Balkan. I always feel like, it, it almost sounds like I'm 16% Vulcan. But anyway. <laughs> so I wanted to read that. And this one was 50% off. Another, an old, the Southern Heritage Plain and Fancy Poultry Cookbook. 50% off. And I think that's finally all the books that I got. What else did I get? Let's see. In that Goodwill, I got this. I had been wanting one of these for a long time. An electric pencil sharpener. I'd been wanting one. Because all I have is those little ones that you put the pencil in and you crank it like that. And it just chews my pencils up. So I got this for my desk in my office. And it actually does work. It was $1.99. So I was tickled with that. My husband said, sell it. And I said, uh, no, I'm not selling it. And let's see, I bought this. I bought, I went in the main Goodwill two times. The first time, that Goodwill there usually has racks and racks of clothes for 50 cents. And I found two shirts. And then the next time I went in, all those racks said a dollar. So I don't know if they've went up or what, but either way. So I found two shirts then, but they're wrapped around some stuff. Two of the shirts are in the washing machine. Ah! Okay. So I got, I got this. I really don't know if it's a sleep shirt or a regular shirt. It doesn't really say. I just thought it was cute. I like stars. This was one of the 50 cent ones, so I gotta get it washed. And I found her. I'm running out of room here, so. That's why I may sell the other angel, because I thought this one was really cute. And I have a shelf that's Americana stuff and folk arty looking, and I may put her on it. And I don't need both of them. She was $1.99. So I thought she was so cute. And. I got this shirt. And it's a St. John's Bay. Just a pretty little shirt. It was 50 cents. And I got another Christmas thing I don't need, but it's a dish, little bowl, like you put candies or something in. I thought he was so cute. Came from Hallmark originally. It was $1.99. I thought he was cute. And I got, I'll probably give these to my granddaughter because she loves buttons. It's a kitty cat button. See? Brand new in the thing here. All my Lynn buttons. 50 cents. And while I was in Goodwill, I got this. I don't even know if you can see it because I don't have much space here. I'll be glad when I'm back at my desk. But I got this. 
I actually got this. I'll probably go and list it on eBay to sell it. It is a upside down. I can't read it. It is a Pizzato hand painted Italian tray. I got it for $2.99. And I'm probably going to list this on eBay. I was trying not to buy anything to sell on eBay. But. Oh, and then one of the other thrift stores, my husband bought a brown coffee grinder. An old, old, old brown coffee grinder. He's going to list on eBay. And I don't have it here. He took it on to uh, list it. So I don't have it handy. But he bought that. I think he paid $5 for it or something. I'm not sure. But uh, I got this to list. That's what I got at Goodwill. And then we went, uh, we, went out, we went out riding around a lot. I took some video and I may put some of the, put together some videos of I riding around and put it on my other channel, my more homestead channel that I'm going to do. So if I get around to that, I'll tell you what channel they'll be on. But so far that channel has nothing on it. I'm working on it though. And while we were out, we stopped. There's a, I think it's a vineyard or something up there. I forget the name of the place. Um, Tatuga Bell Farms. That's what it is. And they had a little distillery and all. And I thought maybe they had moonshine, but they only had one flavor of moonshine. So I didn't buy anything there, but I did buy me a shot glass for my collection. Tatuga Bell Farms. And I think that's it. I think that's everything I got. But that was really a lot of books. I have never bought so many books in one trip before. So... My husband may kill me when he's when he sees all these books unloaded in the house everywhere. He tried to get me just to leave them up there. He said, we're moving up here anyway. You're taking them home just to turn around and move them back. And I was like, yes, but I can't look at them with them up there. So I need them here. <laughs> and I'll move them back as I get done looking or one that I know I can go ahead and move up there until I get me up there, which can't be soon enough. So... There you have it. I got a lot of books. And I hope you enjoyed this book haul. What I want to do sometime, and it may be after I move or when I'm packing my books, is really sit down with, when I get my tripod, and really show, like, all my cookbooks, because I got a lot of cookbooks. All my herb books, you know, in different videos, and actually show some of the stuff in them better, instead of just, oh, here, the, here's this book. So that's what a video I want to do in the future. It's just actually, you know, just cookbooks, things like that. So keep watching for that. It'll come along sometime. Hopefully I won't fall down any more stairs or anything so I can keep doing my videos. So I hope you enjoyed this book haul because that's mainly what it was, was a book haul. I got to find somewhere to put all these books now. <laughs> and I... Hope you enjoyed it. I think I've said that about three times now. And like if you did. Please subscribe. And I hope you stuck around to the end of the video because that really helps. Watching videos to the very end. And I will see you next time. Bye.